लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू स्टोडी फाइव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एंगर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड हाउ यू कैन सी दैट व्हाट आर द कॉम्बिनेशंस इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी व्हिच क्रिएट एंगर प्रॉब्लम्स इन एनी वन्स हॉरोस्कोप्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी दैट व्हाट आर द हाउसेज एंड प्लानट्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एंगर विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू एंगर एंड एज वी all discuss the positive aspects of astrology but we also have to de- deal with the negative one and i will not say it as the negative one it is just the feedback because through the feedback you can improve yourself so this is just the feedback and if you see the positive thing you also have to see the negative thing so anger problems why they are created what planets and what combinations and what houses are responsible for these problems let's analyze this first of all the houses which are mainly responsible for any one's temperament which control their emotions which control their brain are 12th house first house and second house why these three houses are considered is because first house you all know first house is you yourself your whole body your whole mind your whole brain your whole thinking process is the first house now why the 12th house and second house 12th house is the left side of your brain and second house is the right side of your brain so these three houses control the brain so that's why any affliction if crea- if created in these three houses gives anger problem so we will see in more more detail in the further section of this video but these three houses are of prime importance when anger problems are being seen next the planets which are responsible for anger problems are sun mars moon and mercury these are the four planets which you have to see uh, whether their condition is such that they are giving anger problems to the native or not now let's see the combinations which are uh, which give anger problems to the native first of all the afflicted sun and mars in any one's horoscope create anger problems afflicted sun and mars by affliction i mean that they are under the influence of um, malefic planets they are under the influence of rahu and ketu they are in their debilitation sign they are in their Uh, enemy signs they are placed in uh, bad houses so if such things are happening and they are losing their dignity and they are losing their strength they are becoming afflicted or eclipsed then the this indicates that the temperament of the native will not be very good he will be of short, short tempered nature and when afflicted sun and mars are together especially in 12th house first house and second house here we are dealing with three houses only if these planets afflicted sun and mars not good sun and mars note this afflicted sun and mars are placed in 12th house first house or second house uh, in their debilitation sign or in enemy sign or they are aspecting these houses the 12th house first house or second house then it creates anger problems next is when these these two planets that afflicted sun and mars have their influence on moon when they influence moon either they are sitting with moon either they are aspecting with full degrees full aspects to the moon then it creates anger problems because moon is your mind and when moon is afflicted moon is being aspected by negative planets moon's temperament is changed your mind's mood is changed these people uh, have mood swings these people uh, have short temper and these people suffer anger problem serious anger problems next is when their influence uh, afflicted sun and mars influence the first lord lord of the first house then also uh, anger problems are created because first house uh, uh, lord of the first house represents you yourself your whole personality your mind your thinking next is when sun and mars afflicted sun and mars are placed in ad signs that is gemini uh, libra and aquarius then 
the then also anger problems are created i will not say gemini because in gemini both of them perform good but in libra and aquarius both of these signs are not good for sun and mars and these both are airy signs so they increase the anger even more so in their placement in airy signs and their influence on 12th house first house or second house or on the moon or the first lord creates anger problems severe anger problems these people will uh, get angry very in a uh, very immediately they get angry and their reaction will be very violent violence is not seen by sun influence it is seen by rahu and mars but here is that these people get annoyed very easily they get disappointed and angry very easily and the main thing anger problems are created which are anger problems are seen when the reaction of the person towards anger is not good if they are representing if they are reacting to their anger in a dignified manner then it's okay because everyone in this world gets angry sometimes but their reaction is what it matters the most so if their reaction is violent if their reaction is outrageous if their reaction is disgusting then this means that the person is suffering through anger problems but if their reaction is dignified if their reaction is uh, in within their reputation then this means that the person is having a dignified anger and good combinations so the sun and mars placement afflicted sun and mars placement and ad signs create this uh, these conditions next is moon placed in fiery signs gives aggression not anger gives aggression moon placed in fiery signs means in aries leo and sagittarius if moon is in these three signs and especially in 12th first or second house this makes the person very aggressive very forceful very uh, uh, full of energy and stamina but uh, see the condition of mars and sun if they are uh, not in good position then it can give anger problems because aggression is already there next is if uh, rahu and ketu are having their influence on sun and mars then this anger is even more enhanced their the frustration level the irritation level and anger level will be more enhanced of the native and especially when mars and rahu are together or mars or ketu are together in 12th house first house or second house in in in, in missile signs in enemy signs in debilitated signs or in afflicted signs in afflicted positions then it gives a serious anger problems serious anger problems uh, for example your mars and rahu are together situated in the first house in the sign of cancer this means that mars is debilitated here it is uh, and its negative energy of anger is even more amplified by rahu so when rahu is sitting with mars or sun it increases the anger it amplifies it and if ketu is sitting there then it gives stupidity these people will have idiotic anger they will be like if any person will be looking at them with some constant stare they will go and slap him this kind of anger is given by mars and ketu together but mars and rahu gives extreme anger with violence violent reaction these people uh, are uh, very violent towards their reaction in their reaction they are very violent they uh beat them the beat the person and they don't know what they are doing they don't have any control over their senses when they lose their control lose their temper so rahu and ketu influence creates much more uh, problems in anger uh, related to anger when they are having negative influence on mars moon or sun and even mercury now the next thing is when saturn and mars are together saturn and mars are together in first house 12th house or second house this also gives aggression not anger this gives aggression but saturn here has a control over mars this means this because saturn is what saturn is discipline no matter how much you lose the temper how much short tempered you are how much uh, reaction you give there will be aggression in the personality but your uh, temperament will be not so lost that you even don't know that what you are doing so saturn and mars also gives anger but 
uh, we should not say it anger it is aggression the next thing is sun and mars when are in infant stage that is between 0 to 5 degrees then also anger problems are created because now sun and mars are both strengthless both are having no strength and uh, in 0 to 5 degrees they are in infant stage and in infancy no planet knows what to do so if they are in afflicted state and in 0 to 5 degrees then the situation becomes much more worse because here sun and mars don't know that what they have to do they get angry person gets angry and their reaction is outrageous they don't know that what they are doing so this condition occurs when uh, sun and mars are in 0 to 5 degrees especially next thing is you also have to see the position of mercury because mercury if ill placed if debilitated in 12th house first house or second house influence of mercury influence of ketu on mercury or moon mercury and ketu and mars are together in 12th house and first house and second house in afflicted condition then this also creates anger problems severe anger problems because what is mercury mercury is your ability to take any decisions mercury is your ability to uh, give a reaction and mercury is your ability to rationalize so these people lose the, their ability to rationalize lose their ability to reason something so that's why their reaction becomes violent their reactions become uh, sometimes not so uh, uh, the, their reaction becomes outrageous and their reaction is not so prompt when uh, that what they don't know what they have to say uh, to the public in the public in the society and especially when mercury is afflicted these people often use verbal abuses because mercury is what mercury is your speech so if mercury is afflicted these people will be more sort of not violent in their reaction but they they will uh, say a lot of lot of curse words lot of abuses and their verbal speech will be afflicted so this these are the things which you have to see while analyzing the anger problems in anyone's horoscope uh, so these are the various combinations all the planets and houses which are seen while uh, while discussing about the anger problems uh, within the native whether he will be having such kind of anger problems or not and the main focus should be given on the placement of moon and the first lord if these two placements are not good then anger problems will be created most of the time so this was my view on anger problems and if you are new to my channel subscribe below uh, for more information check on my twitter and facebook page otherwise we will meet in the next video with some more curious topic to discuss so till then goodbye and thank you